everyone, it's Alyssa here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a Christmas wishlist video, which is really exciting because Christmas, like, how is it already Christmas? I honestly don't understand, but I'm really excited about it. So I figured for today's video, I would kick off my Christmas series by doing a Christmas wishlist video. I like getting these videos done early because I think it's obviously good to organize your Christmas wishlist early, but it's also a really great way to get gift ideas. So I figured I would do it early so you can get more prepared. Obviously, I don't expect to get every single thing on this list. I literally would be so happy to get even just like one of these things, so I'm not like saying I'm gonna get everything and I expect everything because I honestly don't. But this is just a list of things that I would like to receive for Christmas and would be really happy to receive for Christmas. So I'm all for making wish lists and yeah, I thought I would share mine with you today. So I think that's all I need to say in this intro, so let's just get on to the video. So the first things I have on my wish list are a couple of books. I think books are a really great gift to give and receive. So the first book I have is Girl Boss by Sofia Amoruso. I watched the Netflix series of this book like earlier this year and I really enjoyed it and it's sort of just a topic that I really enjoy so I think I would really like this book I don't know if it's like the same as the Netflix show or like how different it is but I still think it would be a really great thing to read and I've kind of always just wanted to read it so I figured I would put that on my wish list and then the second one is called Wardrobe Crisis by Claire Press and this is basically a book about ethical fashion and sort of just about the fashion industry and it's mainly about fast fashion in particular from what I understand so I think it would be a really great book to read. It's kind of a more expensive book, that's why I kind of don't justify buying it for myself. So I thought I would put it on my wish list, and if I receive it, I will be really, really happy. The next thing on my wish list is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I have wanted this bronzer for so long now, like at least a year. I've been like actually really, really wanting to buy it, but I definitely wanted it longer than that. But I seriously just really, really need it. I've been using a bronzer from Astralis that is just not good quality. And I just really, really want this bronzer because I think it would just be amazing. I would use it every day and it's definitely like something I need in my makeup collection. And it's also cruelty free and vegan, which is obviously important to me. So I really like this bronzer. I think it's really pretty and I just kind of like want it in my life. So now I'm going to move on to a couple of like smaller gifts that I have on here. So the first one is a black MacBook case or cover. I really need a new MacBook cover. My one is a bright pink color and I've had it for like four years now. Ever since I got my MacBook, I've had it. And it's just not really my style and it's also kind of falling apart. So I think it'd be really great to get a new one. I think black is much more my style. It doesn't have to be like a fancy one or anything. Literally just one from eBay is like enough for me. That's what my one is now. And I really like it. So I think that would be a really great gift to get because it's just something annoying to buy for yourself. So like it'd be really great if I could get it as a present. Then also from eBay, this is kind of weird, but I really want to get a set of stainless steel straws. If you guys watched my unboxing video of the Beautifully Well box, I got a stainless steel straw in that and I was so, so excited because they're something I've seen on Instagram and everything for so long and I think they're really cool and they just look really nice. But since having the one that I got in that box, I have realized just how nice they are to like drink with. They just make a drink so much colder, they're perfect for summer and honestly I just really need more of them because I'm pretty much washing the one I have every single day so I can use it every day and it's kind of just not ideal so it'd be really great to get more of them. I think you can get like an 8 pack for like less than $5 so definitely would love to receive that as like a stocking stuffer or something maybe. Another thing kind of related that I think would be really good for summer is a Swell water bottle. I always use my Brita water bottles. I've talked about them to you guys before and I really really love them but they are plastic and I understand plastic is not very good for the environment and having to change the filters every couple of months is also not very environmentally friendly. Um, so I feel like I need to sort of invest in a metal water bottle even if the water is not going to be like filtered. I think it's just a lot more environmentally friendly and it's also really great for summer because the bottles keep the water cold. So then a couple of things that are a little bit more expensive. Firstly I have some stuff from Matt and Nat which is a vegan ethical brand that makes sort of bags and purses and things like that. So I have two things from them that I've been eyeing off for so long and I would love to receive them as gifts. I would probably have to like put money towards them as well because they're kind of expensive but just generally I think they're things I would use a lot and I would just love to have in my life. The first one is a tote bag and honestly it's pretty simple it's just like a regular black tote bag but I think it is so so pretty and just so sleek. I see a lot of girls who bring tote bags to uni instead of like a backpack and I just 
think it looks so much more fashionable and just so much nicer so I think it would be a really great thing to have one for uni and just for my everyday life I think it would be a really really great thing to have I think I would use it so so much and I don't know I just think it's so pretty and I love it and then to go with that I also really love this simple black wallet it's basically just black and you zip it open it's nothing special but I think it's just really pretty really sleek again it's kind of goes along the same lines so then I just have a couple of jewelry pieces the first two are two different chokers one is from YCL Jewels and the other is from Fire and Honey Jewelry yeah Fire and Honey Jewelry and they're both kind of along the same lines they're both just like a thin gold choker and then they have little things hanging off one of them is little circles and one of them is little diamonds I really love these styles of necklaces I just think they're really classy and really nice and really great pieces to wear on an everyday basis and then the other jewelry piece I have is just a little necklace with a disc on it and then the disc has a little evergreen tree carved into it and I just think this is so cute. Ever since I saw this on Pinterest, I think it was, I have been in love with it. It's like the perfect length for necklaces that I would want to wear. And I think it would just be so cute, especially with the little evergreen tree for Christmas. I think it's such a good idea and... I don't know, I just love this necklace. So the last thing I have on this list is just really simple, but that is some vegan chocolate. If people don't know what to buy me for Christmas, honestly, just buy me vegan food in general. But like, vegan chocolate is like so great. I've pinned in particular the Loving Earth Caramel Chocolate because can I just tell you this is like the best vegan chocolate I've ever tried. It's so sweet. It's not like rich dark chocolate. I'm not a big fan of dark chocolate so I really like this because it's really creamy and really like sweet kind of thing as opposed to like really dark and bitter and sour which I do not like and I don't understand how anyone does like. I would just love to receive vegan chocolate or vegan food in general because food is life. So those are all of the things that I have on my Christmas wish list. If you guys did enjoy this video definitely remember to give it a thumbs up and also comment below telling me some of the things from your Christmas wish list because I think that would be really fun and it just shares even more ideas for people to get for like gift ideas or for their own Christmas wish list. And yeah, other than that, I think that's pretty much everything I need to say for this video. So thank you so much for watching. I love you all and I hope I will see you in my next video. Bye!